Ya metau, kamu tau sahasi. Buat naik demar macam. Terakhir dia main, dosi demar macam. Sahasi macam ti sen. Kamu demar macam. Oh, sahasi mak patron naik anik. My name is uh, Marie Wilcox. My grandmother delivered me Thanksgiving Day on November 24th, 1933. <laughs> we only had a little one-room house. Grandpa and Grandma always spoke our language, what tell me. I just didn't hear my grandma speak too much English. Mom is our last fluent speaker now since my dad's uncle, Felix Aicho, passed away. When I was growing up, I spoke English. I don't remember hearing Mom speaking the Wakchamni language. Mom worked in the fields. We picked a lot of fruit and I think I missed a lot of school, but I don't know for sure. You're real good, aren't you? I left my Indian language behind when my grandma died. I didn't speak the language anymore until um, my sisters started to teach the kids. Hearing the girls try to speak their language again made me want to learn again. And uh, I started remembering. I was very surprised she could remember all that from her age, young age that uh, her grandmother had left her. She just started writing down her words on envelopes and papers, you know. And so she'd sit up night after night typing on the computer, which she was never a computer person. I'm just a pecker, I, one word at a time. And uh, I was slow. Just peck, peck, peck. So when I had all these words together, I thought it would be a good idea to try to make a dictionary. I didn't say that I wanted to save it for anybody else to learn. I just wanted to get it together. Every morning I'd, you know, uh, have my coffee and uh, have a sandwich or make me oatmeal or whatever. And um, then I'd get right on that. It took many years for her to do this dictionary. She loved doing it. She would work many hours late at night and get up and work on it during the day. And uh, the X sound. Oh, that's the hardest one for everybody. <laughs> Is they don't have hell. Hell. I've been working with hell. mom on this dictionary for all the years, and I've helped her a lot. The A right here. Oh, there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <clears throat> the TR sound and the CH sound sounds a little bit alike to me, but uh, I know. I know. Uh huh. Got it? I, I got mean, it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very frustrating <laughs> because she, she wanted to make sure I knew how to say the words right. So if I would say something and she can't hear that well, that's not how I said it. You know, I would kind of get scolded. We got to go through this whole thing again because I didn't like the sentences. They didn't make sense to me. Oh, it just seemed like it would take forever. I am very surprised that we've gotten as far as we have. Do you want your jacket? Yeah. Can you? Conjecture a hot to archie mach put on nay anic. 
Chokid Witsi. Kayo Kojaja Chan Dawit Dauta. Dawit Tippin Tau Dumpinau. Yo what tau? What did put on a nick tau? Tawa. Me and my grandson are uh, trying to record our dictionary from uh, A to Z. Learn the whole Ooh. dictionary took me about seven years, so <laughs> that was a lot of work for me. Language, talk, speak, kahai, kahia men kahai. See, I'm uncertain about my language and uh, who wants to keep it alive. Just a few. No one seems to want to learn. It's sad. Oh, it just uh, seems weird that I am the last one. And uh, I don't know, it just, it'll just be gone when he says maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, it might go on and on. <laughs> I think she has a little confidence in me. <laughs> and but I know she has more confidence in Donovan because the way he's really connecting with her and, and, and learning the language so fast because I've been working on it all these years, you know, and I haven't been able to speak with her like he does. My role, I feel, is to archive it all make sure that it gets documented and put somewhere to where 100 years from now our families will be able to access and to be able to speak. And it will keep going with me and Donovan, I know. Ha ha ha! Oh, she knows. Oh, she knows. Doubt her. Hey, she tried to mock him. Put on nine nims.